I ran into Justin backstage. It had been a while since I'd seen him. I was having a panic attack. Brit's face to face with JT came five years after his two word breakup text, It's Over, and triggered her anxiety before that now infamous 2007 VMA performance. I hated the way I looked. I knew it was going to be bad. As for her other exes, well, Brit says the night she met Kevin Federline, he held her in a pool for hours. But Kevin was just so enthralled with the fame and the power. Again and again in my life, I've seen fame and money ruin people. And I saw it happen with Kevin in slow motion. And remember her 55-hour marriage to Jason Alexander? He and I were not in love. I was just honestly very drunk and very bored. Michelle Williams narrates The Woman in Me, the pages revealing more about Brit's men. She dated paparazzo Adnan Ghalib at a time when she was heavily into Adderall. Former agent Jason Trawick was the only one she felt safe with, but things went downhill when he became one of her co-conservators. Charlie Ebersol? Brit claims he got her into over-the-counter energy supplements. But I believe my father started to think that I had a problem with those energy supplements, so he told me I had to get off them, and he sent me to rehab. Brit, who was with Sam Asghari for over six years, doesn't write about why they broke up, but calls their chemistry insane when they first met. It's the happiest time of our lives, and we're just enjoying it. As for the women in Brit's life, well, she found plenty to praise. Waiting for tonight. She envies Jennifer Lopez, who knows how to make fame work. She cites Reese Witherspoon as a role model on how to wield power in a positive way. And Madonna is mentioned 18 times. In many ways, Madonna did have a good effect on me. She told me I should be sure to take time out from my soul. Insight into their infamous VMA moment? In rehearsals, it was always just an air kiss. Britt goes on to say Mariah is a queen of lighting and getting a great pick. And Paris Hilton? Yeah, they partied together, but Britt says she was also incredibly kind. She saw that I had babies and that I was suffering from the breakup, and I think she felt sorry for me. She came over to my house, and she helped me out so much. She was just so sweet to me. The pop star also opened up about her short-lived acting career. She explained that filming Crossroads wasn't easy because she started method acting. We talked to Britt about the cult classic back in 2002, and she was already reading more scripts. I'm keeping my fingers crossed on one specific one, but we'll see, we'll see. Maybe it was The Notebook. Brick claims she almost scored the lead role over Rachel McAdams. We got exclusive details from the movie's casting director, Matthew Barry. She came in and worked with us for two days because she wanted to get it right. She was raw, she was emotional. Ryan and Brittany were very professional. Once it was all over, then it was like reunion time. With that said, why didn't she get the role? Rachel, it was a very, very hard toss up between the two of them. But Rachel's performance, it was like, oh man. I will always love you, no Who else were some of the other people who auditioned? Scarlett came in, Kate Bosworth, Amy Adams, Mandy Moore, uh, Michelle Williams. If you could tell Brittany one thing right now, what would you say to her? Brittany, come back. She's super talented as an actress, and I really hope she comes back.